on, just worship the King. Let everything that you came in here with come off. Let the layer come off. Let God rearrange your thinking in His presence. Yes, God. Humbly bow. He's worthy. He's worthy. Come on, we. I hate to say this, but we worship so much. We worship so much. And God is displeased. He said, Where am I in the picture? But today we get it, we get it right. We come into his presence to honor a holy king, a holy God. And wherever we erect the temple, wherever we lift his name, he's there. And he can be glorified. Yes, God. God's dealing with your heart right now. In this life, it's out of the heart that issues flow. If you want less issues, you gotta allow the repair of the breach to do surgery. Just lift up holy hands right here. God is, he's doing surgery on this heart. More than a suture, you need an internal. life represented there was a fire and I see rain falling rain 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 is coming it's just putting out what the enemy started some of the stuff you you were a part of and didn't even realize it we wrestle not against flesh and blood against principalities and powers power spiritual wickedness in high places but the enemy will use you if you let him and so what I want you to do, decree right now what the Holy Spirit wants you to decree right now is I'm off limits would you say that? I'm off limits. Spirit, soul, and body. Satan, you have no rights to this vessel here. Say, let it rain, Jesus. Rain, rain, rain. Put out the fires. Bring about a blade that's going to cause growth. Rain brings replenishment. It brings restoration. We need the rain in this place. If we'll allow the rain to come, that dry shaft will turn green. Woo! And when you're alive and green for Jesus, there's no room, there's no room, there's no room for fire. Life puts out fire. Eternal life puts out fire. When you give your life to Jesus, what was brown turns green. Where there's fruit, There's a benefit. Holy hands, just lift them up. You don't have to feel holy, but as, as you lift up your hands to heaven, God is purifying your hands right now. Everything that you touch from this day forward is going to grow. It's going to be blessed. Come on, no more cursing. There's nothing else that's going to be cursed in your life. You can have a perfectly painted picture, but not even realize. This is off. That is off. Oftentimes I get dressed before I leave and I'm thinking I'm just fine. Looked in the mirror, checked everything, but here comes the wife and she got something to say. That's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. The Holy Spirit is saying this morning, there's some things I want to adjust in your life. Just before you leave out of this place, how about this? What about that? When you get back to your job, what about this? What about that? What about him? What about her? How are you using your tongue? Render blessing or cursing. There's no in between. So if you can't bless somebody, keep your mouth shut. Did you hear what I said? If you don't have a blessing, just just smile. Because you don't know what my flesh wants to do. But I thank God that my spirit is blessing you with my smile. Hallelujah. Just give them a smile. Hallelujah. Come on, the altar is open. Would you just take one step forward? Just come to the altar. And whatever God wants to do, just let him do it. Whatever he wants to do, just let him do it. Come on, God, put out the fire in your house. If you'll just receive that powerful word. Yes, Father.
didn't have to be all animated. The word alone is powerful. And he used a clean vessel to release it. God, we bless you. Come on, just lift up your hands. I don't know what God wants to do with you, but he does. God, you're here, you're here, you're here. He's here, he's here, he's here, he's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. I believe that word hit all of us. And if it wasn't for you, it was for somebody who you know. I believe we've been made better by the word of God. Would you? Would you agree? Maybe it wasn't a cigarette, but it was something that you just threw alongside in life. Alongside of the road. And here comes the winds. See, the enemy he goes to and fro seeking whom we may devour. He goes about just blowing and fanning. But I know there's one who fans a revival. It's the Holy One. The only fire that's burning is the fire from on high. And he's consuming. There's some things that we don't want as we leave this place. We don't want the habit. We want to leave it right here at the altar. And I'm not going to call it out. God knows what it is. You know what it is. But it's your responsibility that you don't leave here with it. That you step on that fire. You put that cigarette out. Whatever the issue is, step on it. Say, I'm not taking it with me. I don't even want to smell like it. Amen. What is it? What's been overwhelming? Somebody you've been between decisions. You've been contemplating. You don't know which way to turn. God does. Can I say this? The closer you get to him, the closer you get to the answer. Hallelujah. God is a purifier. And whatever was polluted. The word of God is living water. And seemingly we walked in here with a dam. Stagnant, stale water. And God literally pierced. The word pierced. And I just see dirt water gushing out of you. Woo, the words of yesterday. God's opening you up right now. And release it. He's opening the valve. He already started it. But would you just bow just for a hot second and just let it all out. Just bow. Let everything that's not like God, just let it pour out, pour out, pour out, pour out. Pour out. Speak Holy Ghost. Pour out. Now rise, rise, rise. As you rise, Holy Spirit, seal every wound. Seal every hole. Seal every scar. Now lift up those hands. There's a windfall coming from 